Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got something from my email I want to share with you. Our sister, Laurie, that I've shared some other things before, had a vision this morning. It was kind of a waking from a dream, dream vision. She wasn't really sure what to call it. But either way, she knows it was from the Lord. And today is Monday, December 16th, and it's 6.07 p.m. How odd is that? That's the room I'm going to move to. And I have decided I am, excuse me, and I'm going to put a sign up on the board, all four bulletin boards of the independent living. Do you, do you have any sons or daughters that would like to help me move to another floor for various good reasons, and I'm I'm just going to leave it at that, and and put my name and number or something like that. I don't know how I'm going to word it yet, but um, because I don't want my neighbors here to think I'm just, you know, it's kind of a touchy situation. But I'm not getting a nap, and it's making me, it's making it very hard for me to function. Because I need that extra two or three hours of sleep. Anyway, let's move on away from that. Okay, here we go. She says, Hi Jeannie, I pray you are doing well as always. I wanted to share this morning as I'm waking out of sleep. My vision. Kind of a waking dream vision as I knew I was coming out of sleep, was kind of the same thing again, but I was, but I was further out, away from it, but was watching it all. Again, destruction, global destruction. Clearly, this is after the first rapture. And this is what's going to go on. There will be destruction. She says, As I'm watching the entire world go through, and she puts in parentheses just for a moment, closed parentheses, a major catastrophe. Each area, its own type of catastrophe as there were many different ones, I heard the question, dot, 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 are you really prepared? If you knew, this is what she was hearing now, if you knew today would be the last day, have you done everything you would have wanted as far as goodbyes, telling someone you love them, reaching out to an old friend, anything at all that you might regret not doing, and realizing now that there is no more time left. I woke up fully to that question and utter destruction had happened and I honestly had to ask myself that all ask myself that that question all morning because my first thought was oh my goodness there are things I have not done that I wished I would have made me think all morning at work and I'm trying to rationalize it in my brain. What else could I say or do to those I love? My answer kept coming back. Nothing. She put that in quotes from my mind. But my heart knows how it felt when I realized or heard the question once I saw total destruction again. 
This kind of goes along with the one I had about the whole earth shaking or tilting. Do you remember that one I put up? That she had a vision of the earth tilting. Okay, she said, This kind of goes along with the one I had about the whole earth shaking or tilting and my experience being no one could have imagined this. Well, it certainly has me thinking, what else can I do? Or what else can I say? And I don't have the answer yet. I just know that there was a deep feeling of regret of not being 100% ready. Who can be? 100% ready. Well, I kind of feel like I am. I feel like, personally, this is me speaking to answer this. I have sent my family. First, I started sending them videos through their email. Now, I don't even have their emails. That first computer I used on YouTube, it got hacked into and, and uh, some kind of a virus that could not let me get back online. If I tried to even connect, it crashed and it could not be fixed. Not maybe for a certain price, but it wasn't worth that much. So anyway... That computer was damn uh, destroyed. Then I got my daughter's used computer. I used it for a little while. And the camera went out on it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Anyway, the point is that one got hacked into also. And it started doing all kind of weird things. Satan just didn't want me on here. But I persevered. I ended up getting a little tablet so I could at least watch YouTube. But anyway, throughout this first part, when I first had these computers to begin with, they were like uh, IBM compatible type, not Apple related. They are a lot easier to hack into, supposedly, than Apple. Anyway, long story short, I bombarded my family and the friends I had email addresses for with videos. And one finally told me, I just thought you ought to know. We're just deleting those videos. We don't even watch them. Okay, well, I appreciated her honesty. And I thanked her for that. But anyway, at that time, we were all on Facebook together. And we had our own family website. It's called Family Hardesty Family Playpen. Now I want to call it a pig pen because I can't cast my pearls before swine. But I love them dearly and I miss them. And I can't go to family reunions anymore. But anyway, I, I post things on Facebook for those who still have me friended in the regular section of Facebook. There's, there's a, they all unfriended me, but a few sisters and a brother or two are friends with me again. I have nine siblings. And I post things, and I post things, and I post things, and some things I put for the Hardesty clan, and I'll list their names so they'll see them. They don't like them. They don't ever click nothing. They don't write a comment or nothing. They don't want to hear it. And I went to one when I could still drive. I drove to her house. I gave her a Bible for her Christmas present. I tried talking to her. And it just wouldn't come out. I'm not real good, believe it or not, at one-on-one -on -one unless the Holy Spirit takes over. But what I wrote in her card and I wrote in the Bible... Should have been enough. And what I said. I said something about. Have you ever thought about. Trying to go to church. Or 
she said she believed in God, but she didn't go to church. And for some reason, it just, I felt I couldn't say anything more. So maybe that's all I was supposed to do. Because I know the Holy Spirit will start talking. I know it. It happened before when I was trying to witness to somebody here. And it just started coming out and then scriptures and scriptures and all that. And I was like, I know this is the Holy Spirit. And she was like, wow, are, are you a preacher? I mean, you would have thought it. But really, when I come on here and I mean, I'm only going to talk five minutes or so and it ends up being a 20 minute sermon, that's the Holy Spirit. I know because my brain can't really function to, to do something on the spot. Just talk like this and tell you things. But the point is, I personally believe I've done all I could to the point where nobody wants to talk to me or have anything to do with me. Even though I got a lovely gift from my brother, he got my name this year. And it, everything they bought, I think his wife probably bought it, but still, says, Be still and know that I am God. It was a, a one of, it was a like a tote bag you could use at the grocery store. Or for whatever reason you want to use a tote bag. One is a mug. And one is a necklace. And thought about showing it to y'all I'm, I'm a little uncertain of whether I should use it because it has charms on it and I did a study on spiritual warfare a couple of years ago and one of the things we're not supposed to use or wear is charms I got rid of my a beautiful charm bracelet and all the charms, except I still kept the one that has one charm that says mother on it. And I pray that wasn't wrong. I don't wear it. It hangs on my, well, that other, I moved it. It's over there. I think I've showed it to y'all before. It's a bracelet. And it has a charm, one charm that hangs off, and it says mother on it. So I put it on my lamp. And I've prayed and prayed and prayed different times. Lord, if there's anything I need to get rid of or I need to repent of or I need to do or whatever, it doesn't ever come to my conscience. But this necklace is so unusual it's not the kind you can't take it apart and take the charms off. It They took metal. I'll, hang on a second. I'll go get it. Because it's kind of bugging me. All right, I'd like to get your opinion. And those of you who have studied things we should get rid of, that you know. All right. It's very long. It hangs very low. You see, it says it's engraved. I don't know if you can read it, but it says, Be still and know that I am God. All these, you see how it's been turned and twisted, and it's got a circle in the middle. I think it came from an Indian reservation or an Indian, because it's got the jade. Isn't this jade? There's a heart, there's a plain stick, and it says, be still. All right. And then there's a heart on a cross. This is like a teardrop with a cross. So see, it's very beautiful. 
a cross. There's another cross of the heart. And another little heart. And another little circle. Which I know circle is infinity, right? Or like everlasting or forever. The circle goes around and around forever. There's no, no ending. So it hangs like that. From Minnesota. I think there's still uh, some Indian tr tribes up there, right? I should do some research on it. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Swipe to outer circle. I can't even answer it because I don't know how. I don't even know how to answer it. I, it's ridiculous. I Sometimes I manage to answer it and sometimes I don't. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Because I'm, I guess because I'm feeling unsure, that should be my answer. Anyway, so back to this. For those of you, you should ask the Lord. Or if right off the bat you think, oh, I've got to talk to my sister. Or I've got to talk to that guy I've been wanting to talk to. If there's anybody... I mean, I've handed out so much literature here. Things I've made, had made, paid to have made at Vistaprint. I've taken donations from y'all. Spent them on things to hand out. And gone door to door and put them in their doors. Or slid them under. However I could get them in there. You know? So... I feel like I'm I'm ready. I've done all I can do. I've passed out stuff around here in the neighborhood, putting things in in the bushes and laying them here and there and right on the sidewalk. I mean, maybe I could have done more of that, but I've just run out of energy. So anyway, you all decide. Take it to the Lord. Is there anyone you need to talk to? Are you ready? Is there anything you need to discuss with Jesus? You know he's your mediator between God and man. He's your mediator. Not a Catholic priest. If I have any Catholics on here that don't know yet, Jesus Christ is our mediator. I don't know why the lighting is doing that. Maybe it's my hand. Nope. I don't know why it was doing that. But Jesus is our mediator. You go to him. For everything. When you're happy. When you're sad. If you've sinned. Go to him. He forgives you. That's where grace comes in. He has, well, that's just so weird. He has more than enough grace to give you. There's no sin so great that he can't forgive except blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So be careful before you say someone that's doing something is doing it by the power of, the, of a demon. All right? That's what blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is. And I'm sorry that my lighting just keeps going in and out. It seems to be the way I'm moving around. But then I move around and it don't do it. So I don't know what's going on. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in Nazareth over this video. Over my computer. Over my internet connection. And over each and every one of you that are watching and I say that nothing will hinder 
my computer from putting up messages about the Lord or anything else he has me to share. We're in a battle. We know we are. Our war is not against flesh and blood. If you know Ephesians 6, our war is not against flesh and blood, but against the powers and the principalities in the high places and in the heavenlies. And yes, I know I'm under attack. I know I am. That's part of it. This All this noise out here, I mean, it, it could be just normal aging stuff going on, but I just find it awfully hard to believe that it'd be that much for just one person across my hall. I, you know, I just find it very, very hard to believe that it's just normal life and I just got to learn to put up with it. I uh, don't want to complain. So I'm going to end it here. Did I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, all your devices and all your internet connections? And may we stay connected until we're out of here, which I do believe is soon, and I pray that's true. There's so many dates that seem possible. I mean, it could be tomorrow. It could be 19th. It could be, that's on, what's today, the 16th, the 19th. The 26th, it could be the 25th. We don't know. We don't know. Like I was telling somebody, I did get a message from Jesus where he told me, I will not tell you the date, for then my enemy would know it as well. And that's why when I got that message from Father, I thought I got from Father, and still I know a lot of you got 717 also. But if I really, really heard from Father, say July 17th, that means next year. If that was truly from Him, and I, I'm just so hoping, I'd rather say, no, I'm sorry, I heard from a demon. But I don't want to say that because I don't want to be guilty of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Boy, oh boy. It's a conundrum. I just got to leave it in the hands of the Lord and believe that whatever. I'm not, not going on about it. I'm going to end this here and say bye for now. I am putting together a video. I I'm, I said bye for now, but I, I'm trying to put together something that has to do with Luke 2, the biblical account of Jesus' birth, which is my absolute favorite in Luke chapter 2, and tabernacles, and what it has to do with the temple, and I was, been, was researching this on Sunday, and now I forget... <laughs> Somehow the tab got closed and I didn't bookmark it. So I have to kind of start that research over. But I'll find it and I want to, um, I think you'll find it all very interesting rather than just hearing me read Luke 2. I want to go in a little further into the temple and the sacrifices that had to be made and just several little side notes that had to do with the birth of the Lord. Okay, so with that, I'll say bye for now and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.